Yo, what's up my people? This ain't DG again, the gamer. Today, today we're gonna be discussing, you know, there's a ton of new content out. I put an article up on my website at thegamer.com. There is also a link over on the community tab of the channel. But well, welcome to another edition of WWE 2K24 Let's Talk. Uh, in this video, it's gonna be a little different. I don't, I know you guys have heard a lot of the stuff that's going on. And there's a ton of information from the official press release that 2K signed over to me. If you want to check it out, it's over there. Uh, the trailer's on there. Now, there is something I'm going to show, but I'm going to show this from the end of the trailer, actually. Um, I did like the trailer in case anybody wondered if I liked the trailer. Of course, I liked the trailer. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be talking my faction stuff because I feel like no one's talking about it. Some people will, some people won't. And I want to be that one that actually talks about it, okay? So, at the end of the trailer, they did showcase this artwork for the Nightmare Family Pack, which includes three My Faction cards, Dusty Rose 76, Mattel Cody Rose, and Pharaoh Manager. Now, I didn't even know what the Pharaoh Manager was until my daughter said, yo, that's Cody's dog. So, it leads me to believe that we're not going to be able to see the manager on the outside again. One of the things I was scared about with this game was that it wasn't going to be that impressive, especially graphical wise, because it was going to be on past gen, sit on PlayStation 4. I mean, people, let's just be honest, the PlayStation 4 has already been pushed to its limit. I mean, it's not that it don't look good, but it's, it's, it's been pushed to its limit. Um, so it's not going to look any better than what we already seen. So... Four playable superstars in the My Faction cards. Some people act like they don't see it. They reporting it, but they act like they don't see Dusty Rose 76 and then Mattel Cody Rose and the Pharaoh Manager that is right here. So that's kind of cool, but last year we got even more um, when it came to My Faction stuff. Because if you had the Icon Edition, you got... You had like the John Cena car. You had you had like Batista. You had Leviathan, I believe. A couple other people. Um, let's just move down here to some of the details so we can discuss uh, my faction. Now I'm gonna be doing various videos, but I kind of want to wait and see what other people are saying. Then I want to add to the conversation because I don't want to say the same things, repeat things, you know, and just hype you all up. I want to actually have a good, unique discussion going on, on my channel that other people aren't doing, if I can, and not just repeating the same things that you already heard. Like, oh, this is great. Oh, I love the match types. No, I want to do more than that. But yes, I do. I do like what I've been hearing. But let's check this out. We got my faction going down right here, and you can see it says the team building mode in which players collect manage and upgrade an array of WWE superstars and legends to create their ultimate four person factions returns with a new direct purchase card market and an updated multiplayer experience. So I believe what they're saying here is that if you need a specific card, you may be able to get a new specific card right away. But I'm wondering if that's the case or just like a new token market. So maybe it's like a new per token market i'm not really sure but maybe it is kind of like an auction house where you can just directly purchase a card so we'll just see i know that's what everybody wanted so if it is an auction house it's going to be cool that you can do that and if it's going to be easier for us to collect the cards we need to complete sets though i do think some people are going to get a little outrageous and heck if i play a lot and i got cars out there i'm going to be honest i may put them on the market and, and charge y'all a ton you know just being honest so i can get what i need you know it is what it is that's the nature of the beast that's what y'all wanted yeah, we about to get it so players can now complete in ranked online quick play which was available last year but it really wasn't ranked it was just like matches and hopefully there's going to be win loss records with unique rewards and seasonal leaderboards i was vouching for this if you go through any of my my faction this week videos i said we need a reason for people to play and complete these matches because they're just quitting um so these unique rewards and seasonal leaderboards would be a great way to make sure 
they play these matches out. Challenge themselves with weekly towers, which we had last year. Great things, and it had great prizes. Hopefully, that's going to continue. And take on revamp Faction Wars 2.0, featuring more real-world factions and more four versus four match types. So, I guess there's going to be times we're going to be taking on real factions during the climb of the Faction Wars. Uh, also, more four versus four match types. Hopefully, we can see some war games. Hopefully, we can see. Uh, I don't know some big hell in the cell matches or something hopefully it's more than just the usual tag team matches a faction war specific war shop and more so last year we got faction wars rewards so i'm guessing this year we're gonna have a reward shop so as we compete we get a chance to uh buy things out of this reward shop i am very very interested in these new additions so new theme card packs and goals will continue to roll out regularly throughout the year with seasonal content refreshes. So fans of my faction rejoice because we're going to be getting some cool things. So, you know, new theme card packs, goals will continue to roll out regularly throughout the year with seasonal content refreshes. I think this, I mean, it, it's been getting better each and every year in my opinion, and now it's going to be even better my faction is the reason i play i mean i played other modes but when it comes to like certain superstars especially legends i play them in my faction i don't put legends in uh my universe or anything like that i, I normally just would play them in exhibition uh play now but now with my faction i've been using them a little more because i don't like being responsible for you know beating them up <laughs> but it, you know, in a, in a mode like this, I don't feel that bad about it. it uh, and usually I'm playing as them, so. Yeah, what do you guys think about my faction? Are you looking forward to these updates? I think these updates are going to be a great addition to the game. And also, hold up, before we leave, there are some information, which pretty much is the same information I just mentioned here. But I just want to show you guys that information. So go to the WWE 2K site. We got the 2K24 stuff up. So. There were some details in here. Also, if you had the 40 years of WrestleMania pack, you get two, three gold. Two, three, two, three gold. I don't know. That means two to three gold. My faction cards of the above. So, for example, I'm guessing you get either Macho King Randy Savage, Rey Mysterio, Triple H, Charlotte Flair, or Rhea Ripley. So you get a chance to get two of the three gold my faction cards of the above. So you get one of these rousers above as gold my faction cards with the 40 years of WrestleMania pack and by the way you only can get this by getting the 40 years of WrestleMania you get, you get the Macho King the Rey Mysterio the Triple H the WrestleMania 36 Real Ripley the Charlotte Flair WrestleMania 33 it's the only way you're gonna get that okay um also they're not mentioned I need to mention these as well so we we, we talked about the superstar Billy Graham card uh, the Mateo Cody Rose is going to be like probably like the John Cena card, like a figurine, Bruce playable character, and a My Fashion card. So that's that Mateo Cody Rose comes with a My Fashion card. So if you want the, the uh, Cody Rose My Fashion card, that's how you get it as well. So that's going to be a My Fashion card. Wow. So, so check this out. That's a playable character, so it's gonna be like the Bad Bunny. So you can be able to use this in game. This is Mattel Cody Rhodes, and have a My Faction card. So that's cool. Playable Mattel Cody Rhodes and a My Faction card. That's crazy. But going down here, you get the season pass five times DLC. So I wanna, they, they need to specify that a little bit more because people be tripping on that stuff nowadays. But you're going to get the real My Faction Evolution card. So we're already talking 
one, two my faction cards. One's a, actually one Dusty Rose 76 is gonna be a my faction card as well. The Mattel Cody Rose is a my faction card and a playable character in the game. So the Pharaoh Manager card. So that's three cards already. But if you got the deluxe edition, you're gonna get the Rhea My Faction card, which is the evolution card. The Bianca My Faction Evo card. You're gonna get also Rhea and Alt Attire, but that's in-game stuff. So so that's one, two cards. Rhea and Bianca coming with the deluxe edition from my faction. Also, dashing and the Mattel is part of the base game pack. So it just pre-ordering will get you uh the Mattel. I said dashing just now. But you get the Mattel and the Dusty Bro 76 My Fashion card. So those are some great cards uh, to start off everything. If you got the 40 Years of WrestleMania pack, you're also going to get two or three more. They should specify. Why is saying two to three? Is there a chance you won't get but two? Why is that a thing? Hmm. I think they probably got it mixed up. Because let me, let me explain something. Right here, you can see one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm thinking is three of them are gold, two of them are another tier. That's what I'm thinking. And they just got it worded bad. So you're gonna probably get all of these as my faction cards. Two of them is going to be another tier. Three of them is going to be probably gold, the first tier. So, yeah. Um, there was also... There's supposed to be some other stuff on here. I remember I seen some, something about the features. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm only focusing on my faction stuff in this video. And I already took a good bit, but it, it's cool. I'm sure you guys don't mind it. So, right here... I like the new my faction aesthetics right here. It's like they're gonna have this is this says bounty or something on it. I, I like the way this is looking, all street like. Collect the billion ideal WWE faction using superstars and legends from every era. WWE 2K24 both single player and online multiplayer matches, including all new ranked quick play. Compete against rival faction around the world and earn new rewards in the process. If you stab yourself atop the seasonal leaderboard. I'm going to be honest. I felt like last year, still the best way to play WWE 2K23 is my faction mode. Even though you can't really change the stats or anything. It was a very good playing field, I feel. And the people that had uh, good superstars, they earned them. They proved that they could be the best that is by beating the best challenges, so they earned them, which made them a better player anyway, a majority of them. So they deserve what they had and where it was at. I feel it was less cheesy. I know we do got cheaters and people that use stump spam, but outside of that, uh, it was the best multiplayer experience I had all year long. And yes, I played all, all multiplayer modes, not a lot, because it was cheesy and still continues to be cheesy but i'm gonna give this a little bit more of a go because we got this new rank system with prizes in play so with that being said what do you guys want me to talk about next when it comes to wwe 2k24 um once again there'll be a link in the description if you guys want to check out my article that contains everything from creation suite details the promotionals the artwork what's included in it and everything um so make sure you check it out make sure you check it out i'm gonna look real cl close real quick and look at this 40 years version so so what this says here is when it comes to that pack it says it includes 40 years wrestlemania pack which features alternate tires for macho king randy savage wrestlemania 6 Rey Mysterio WrestleMania 22, Triple H WrestleMania 30, Charlotte Flair WrestleMania 33, and Rhea Ripley WrestleMania 36, as well as Gold Rarity My Faction cards for each. Instantly unlocking all playable showcase characters in the WrestleMania 40 arena. 
So this will unlock all the playable showcase characters in the WrestleMania 40 arena. So you can get these probably outside of it, but it would instantly unlock them having the 40 years of WrestleMania edition, as well as making them available in my faction. So that's cool if you ask me. This is the edition that I want, but yo, the fam's coming together to try to make this happen. But they really want this edition. <laughs> they want this edition. Uh, at least my daughter, she wants this edition. And I, I can see why. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I already been talking for 15 minutes. Oh my God, I've been rambling. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace. Don't forget, link in the description to check it all out, baby.